All right, welcome to the next video for the series on your how to do your unit review. This is going to discuss how to convert from point slope form to slope intercept form. Again, all we're doing here is solving for y. So we need to take our slope and distribute it through the parentheses. Now I will admit on 21 and 24, I did not do a stellar job of picking good numbers. That will not happen on the actual test. That would be y plus 2 equals negative 4 fifths x plus 12 fifths. 4 fifths times 3, negative times a negative is a positive. 4 times 3 is 12, and then we need to divide by 5. So then we would need to get the y by itself by subtracting 2 from each side. So we're going to have to lean on our calculator here. 12 fifths minus 2 is actually 2 fifths. So our answer here should be 4 fifths x plus 2 fifths. And again, I apologize for the ugly numbers. That will not happen on your actual test. On number 22, the numbers are a lot nicer. We distribute the 1 half. So we end up with y minus 2 equals negative 1 half times x. And then negative 1 half times 2 would be negative 1. Then we add 2 to both sides of that equation, which means we're adding 2 to negative 1 which would give us y equals negative one-half x plus one for our final answer. Number 23 doesn't have a fraction, but the process is still exactly the same. We grab our slope and we distribute it through the x parentheses, which would give us y plus six equals negative two x minus 14, because negative two times seven is negative 14. Then to finish solving, we need to get rid of the positive 6, which would require us to subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. And that would give us y equals negative 2x minus 20. Okay, number 24 also has, unfortunately, not great numbers, but that's okay. Again, we're going to distribute. So when we distribute, we get y plus 3 equals 5 thirds x plus 40 over 3. We would then subtract 3 from each side of that equation. Again, you're going to need to use your calculator to carry out that subtraction. y equals 5 thirds x plus 31 over 3. Again, those are unfortunate numbers, but if we have a calculator, they're not something we should not be able to handle. Finally, 5 halves gets multiplied by x and 4. You'll find that this works much better than the other examples because the numbers are nice. 5 halves times x is just 5 halves x. 5 halves times 4 would be 10. Then we add 3 to both sides of the equation to get the y by itself. And we get y equals 5 halves x plus 13. And that is how we convert from point slope to slope intercept. Again, continue to the next video for the next section of the review. Thank you very much for your time and attention.